Okay, today I'm going to be demoing the HP Slate 2. Uh, this is HP's uh, new tablet, Windows tablet. Um, first, I just want to go over what all I have here. Uh, this is um, HP lease equipment right here. So, it does have the leasing tags on it right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, evaluation equipment. Um, what we got in our evaluation was the um, tablet here, um, which it's pretty nice, sleek little tablet here, the USB port on the top there. Um, ours came with a uh, docking station. Um, this is the charging cord right here, so it's not standard USB or a regular charging port. Um, the back of this does have HDMI. Uh, there's the charging plug and two USBs um, so you can connect keyboard, mouse, um, whatever you'd like there. Um, first impression with the tablet, um, this one does have an Atom processor in it uh, with Windows 7. Um, touch interface on Windows 7 is not great, but it does seem to be pretty responsive. Um, I know that HP is put some work into the touch interface on this and it really seems to um, you know work pretty smooth here um, touch and hold the right click check out the system properties here um, as you can see it, it has a uh, 1.5 gigahertz uh, Intel Atom processor 2 gigs of RAM um, so, you know, it is pretty capable of um, running Windows 7. Um, HP has come out with a on-screen keyboard here that runs on top. Um, as you can see, um, it, uh, it does work pretty well, uh, similar to like the iPad and the Droid device touchscreens. Um, HP really has a cool feature. Um, it's trying to remember what it's called. Uh, it's it's where you can uh, spell words by uh, dragging your fingers across the, the letters. Um, like if I want to spell world, I'm going to go W-O-R-L-D. And that didn't work for me there. Let's spell red. And it's going to pop up here and, you know, give us the options for that. Um, just kind of a cool cool little uh, feature it's got here. I'm going to spell P-O-K -okay there. It's going to give me a few options here. You can scroll through those. Um, pretty nice. Uh, keyboard seems to work very well there. Um, internet browsing, watching YouTube videos, things like that, it is kind of sluggish. Um, doesn't really seem like it has the graphics power like it, like it may need. Um, as you can see, this device does have a webcam here on the back and a camera on the front. Um, personally I don't think the camera is that great um, but it, it does it does function. Um, anyways this is uh, this is the port down here on the bottom that uh, fits into the docking station here as you can see right there. Basically just slaps down in there just like that. And there's that. Um, up on the top, like I showed before, um, there is a USB port here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Um, volume up and down switches right there. Um, home button and the security control alt delete button there. Power switch is right here on the side. Does have a headphone jack here. Um, speaker ports or speaker holes there on the bottom. Um, sound is pretty good on this device, kind of impressed. Uh, it does have an SD card reader on it, um, so you can, you know, take your pictures and uh, view those straight out of your camera. Um, onboard microphone, but uh, that's that's pretty much it right there. Um, anyways, just comment if you have any questions about it.